Capital yeah. Hoops, they were calling yeah. six guard Frank Howard. Frank, big win for you guys. Yeah. Turned out you had the winning bucket. You guys trailed by nine points with only five minutes left. Yeah. Ended the game on a huge run. You know, talk about the way you close your regular season. I mean, that, that goes to show, like, all the work that we put in over the years. It shows the fight that we have. And, you know, like, they shows our hunger for the championship. We really want to win. You know, we take every game like it's our last now. You know, we're just trying to win, win basketball games. And so whatever we can do, that's what we're doing. How are you guys going to be able to ride this momentum as you go into the WCAC playoffs? Knock off the number one team in the area. Now, you know, you guys have momentum heading into what really matters for you guys. I mean, I think we are... Uh, I think we're uh, we're turning into a championship team now. You know, we we, we hit the highs, and the highs of the highs, and the lows of the lows. So I think I think we're battle tested right now, and I think we'll play already. I mean, we'll just we'll just go where we at. All right. Last year we got for the Syracuse people. Oh, as I told them last time, just be ready, keep your hopes up. You got hope coming on. <laughs> Capital Hoops here with Paul the Six, Junior BJ King, BJ, huge win. You guys trailed by nine points with less than five minutes to go. Talk about the way, the way you closed this game. No, it's just, we did it on defense. You know, we ended the game on the 15-3 run. But uh, that was just us not settling for, for jump shots and going to the rim because they were obviously fouling and we got to the free throw line. And we got easy points like that. So that's what made the difference with the end. You know, the way you guys started off the season, obviously playing powerhouse schedule, you know, you guys faced some adversity early in the year. Yeah. But the way you were able to use that to your advantage, and you know, capitalize down the stretch and use those experiences, in, you know, in a positive way. Talk about how that schedule really helped you guys. Uh, it was, it's, it, it made us that much a better team. Because towards the beginning of, of the season, people started, uh, they wrote us off. We lost a couple of bad games. But as we gained our confidence and started playing those teams, we started believing each other that we can actually do this. And so now, towards the end of the season, we're making our run and we're winning games now. And it's just fun. What's going on through DJ King's head as you guys go into the playoffs? Us uh, win by all means, you know whatever, whatever it takes. All right, thanks, BJ. Appreciate wow. your time. Good luck in the postseason. Capital Hoops here with Paul the Six Junior Corey Manigal. Corey, 15 and 10 tonight. Yes, sir. You really controlled the, the paint down there. Yes, sir. You know, talk about how you were able to kind of get off down the, down there on the block. Uh, just going in the game with the mindset. Nobody can hold me off the boards, so that's what I did. Try to tight off as a glass every time down, and it worked. <laughs> um, you know, you guys had a pretty big deficit there in the fourth uh -huh. quarter. Nine points with, you know, half a quarter, half a quarter going. Uh -huh. How were you able to kind of stay composed? And, you know, your defense really stepped up there. And, and talk about that. Uh, we've just been playing through dog fights all year. So we just took our past experiences and used them for today. And, and we just, we just, and we're really clicking right now. So that's, that's pretty much it right there. Yeah, talk about as you head into the playoffs, you know, kind of where you think your team is at. Um, if we come together, I think we can win it all. Like, come together like how I know I can. And Thanks, for it. Appreciate yeah. it. Capital Hoops here with Paul the Six, sophomore Aaron Thompson. Aaron, a huge win for you guys. Finish your season on a positive note, gain some momentum as you head into the playoffs. Talk about the victory against the Mountain. I mean, it was a good victory. I think it showed that the work we put in this season, going on playing national schedule, I think it paid off. And it showed right there, they're ranked number six in the country. So I think it showed we can play with anybody in the country, no matter what their rank is, no matter who they are. You guys trailed with, by nine points with four minutes and change left in the game. How were you guys able to close this game on a 15 3 run? And, and, um, like know. always, just stay composed, stay together. Don't stop uh, going back and forth with each other, don't start fighting with each other. I mean, just staying together as a team, that's what makes it all better. Um, that's what made it came back in the game. All right. Thank you for the time, man. Congrats. Good luck in the play. Thank you. Hoops here with Paul the Sixth, head coach Glenn Farrello. Coach, we closed the regular season with a, you know, a huge, a huge boom to yeah. close the regular season. Talk about that. Yeah, confidence booster for, uh, also for this team because, you know, obviously the second part of the year we finished down winning nine of our last 11. Uh, and, and it was really important to us to finish strong. Uh, and, and, and with a whole new squad of starters and then that whole bench, like, we've really come together. Uh, and I thought they did a nice job of that. But I, every step of the way, gaining more and more confidence. So hopefully this gives us a little bit more confidence to understand how the playoffs are going to be. It's going to come down to the last two minutes. It's going to be it's going to be an absolute you know defensive battle. You know phys physicality. Uh, it's going to be a lot of fun next week. So I think our kids did a nice job of having that type of experience now. Defensively, Markel Fultz had a huge first half, very big first quarter. 
the second half, it was very quiet. It was just something you guys kind of did defensively to key in on him? Yeah, and he's a great player, very worthy of being player of the year. Uh, and so we, we did, we actually were keying on him in the first quarter, too. He just got loose on us and, and scored 13 in that first quarter. Uh, and of course, the whole team made sure they found him. Uh, Frankie VJ switched off on him a lot in the second half, but then also when he had the ball, the guys, the other guys were, were always knew where he was. So I thought the kids did a nice job of, 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 being, able to, of, of being able to do that. Um, but boy, he's a, he's, a, he's a very special player. So with the win, you guys climb up to number three seed? We're the three seed, yeah. Is that right? So do you guys know who you play with? Yeah, we're going to play O'Connell. Play O'Connell. Yeah, on so Saturday. Obviously, huge rivalry. Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. Talk about the, the yeah. third matchup of the year. Well, no, right. I mean, it's always fun, right? You always have rivalry games, and, and, and it's always a big thing here in Northern Virginia. It means something to us. And, of course, getting a chance to play each other in the playoffs is, is also special. So uh, I think it's going to be, you know, I, I think both both squads are going to be very motivated to play, and, and uh, I'm sure we're going to leave it all out there on the floor. All right, thanks, Hush Brown. Appreciate the time. You got it. Appreciate it. Good luck in the play. Thanks.